Hey everyone, and I hope you're having a great December 31st. This is New Year's Eve, and I uh, wanted to come to you and just share a word with you. I'm outside in front of our house. It struck me about tonight and uh, what it symbolizes and represents. I thought I, I'd like to read a scripture for you, if you'll give me just a moment here. This is found in Isaiah. It was actually in uh, the reading in my Bible app this morning, but it says, I am the Lord. This is Isaiah 43, 16, 18, and 19. I am the Lord who opened a way through the waters, making a dry path through the sea. But forget all that. It's nothing compared to what I'm going to do. For I'm about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a way, a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. And I thought about that promise to us that he's going to do something new. We face this time every year, don't we? Uh, we're the last day of an old year slipping away from us and a promise of something new. In 2 Corinthians, it talks about that when we become, that when we accept Christ, we become a new creature and old things pass away. Behold, all things become new. And I think that sometimes if we're not careful, we can begin to fear the new or maybe hold on to the old. It's like tonight. Tonight is such a unique night because it's the last night of 2021. But it's more than that. When you look around, you, you see the remnants of Christmas. Our lights are still on and tonight will be the last night that we have them lit. Traditionally, we leave them up and until the New Year's first, and then we unplug the lights and disconnect everything and gather it up and put it away until this time comes again in the following year. And with the new year, we expect something new, but there are remnants of this old year that are still with us. If you would just take a walk with me, this may be a little discomfitting and I apologize for that but if I don't look down I'll probably to trip and uh, have my face all over the sidewalk here so just walk with me and I want to take you to a place in the back just hang out here with me you can see we got the lights on and a little laser light show going on as well and in the back, I tried to build a fire tonight. I don't know how successful I've been because when, as I'm walking back here, it, it's looking awfully dark. The wood is wet. It's been rainy. And there is a fire, but it's a small fire. But give me just a second and we'll see if we can get something going here. Thank you for your patience. I know you've probably got several things you'd rather do than look at a close-up shot of my beard, huh? Okay, give me just a second here, and we're going to take a look into this fire and see what's going on. Now, I'm going to take you down in here, then I want to talk to you for just a second. So as we look in to the fire... And I pray I don't lose this phone in it. And get closer. As you get closer, you see a lot of smoke. But you know that there's got to be a flame in there somewhere. And there it comes. Sometimes the wood can be wet and it makes it difficult for us to find the flame, right? Let me talk to you for just a second tonight. If that's okay. Look, if you've got some place to go, I understand. But uh, I want to wish you a happy new year. And I want to talk to you about this old year passing. You know, I, I thought about... Well, now we've really got a blaze going here. Take a look closer in the fire. and listen, I wonder what you see in there. You know, what he doesn't keep us from he sees us through and I thought about 
Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they started to go through their fire. And they would have rather not. But in the midst of it, something happened. Gaze into that fire and just throw up a comment on what you see. You see, sometimes when you look into a fire, you can see things that you normally don't see. I wonder what you saw when you were looking into that fire. I wonder how many of you saw more than just the destruction of the flame, maybe the color of it, and how things begin to change. I know that this year has been tough for a lot of us. It hasn't been easy. And some of us have lost loved ones. But I want to share something with you tonight and then uh, Sunday morning. And as I was thinking about this and I thought about, you know, when you go through the fire, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego found God in a way that they had never found him before, had never seen him before. He made an appearance in that fire with them. Now, look, they loved him and they stood up for him and they told Nebuchadnezzar, it doesn't matter what you do. We're not going to bow down and worship you. They'd done all that. But when they came out of that, they came out with a new experience. They came out having seen a God walk them through the fire. And I'm telling you that God is doing that for us. That no matter how hot it's been, no matter how hard it gets, we've got a promise and he's not going to forget us. And he's promised he's going to walk us through. That when you gaze, I don't know if you can see it, but and it, it may not show up on this camera, but there's a lot of other color dancing around in this fire tonight. I see blues and greens and uh, just several different hues of blues and there's a beauty in it that I'm not sure whether or not this phone's picking up but there's something special about knowing that we serve a God that doesn't leave us he doesn't forsake us but he goes with us no matter what it is we're facing I'm going to pray with you tonight I want to share something with you well I'm, I'm going to share it Sunday morning I was one day this past week it was uh I believe it was on a Friday no, maybe Wednesday evening, I was praying and I'd uh, been watching a Christmas special. I don't know whether or not any of you would ever seen it. It's called A Christmas Candle. But I, I was just meditating and all of a sudden I had the Lord speak a word to me. And I heard him say, this is the word for 2022. And I began to ponder it. And literally, I, I knew what the word meant, but I went up to the dictionary to look it up. I'm not going to tell you what that word is here tonight, but I, I will be sharing that on Sunday morning. But it, it began to grab my heart, and it made me realize, and of course we know God has a plan, but sometimes we forget that we're a part of that plan. And so tonight, as this year comes to a close, I want to remind you that you are a vital part of God's plan. Even though when sometimes you feel like you've been whipped, God's saying, no, 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 I, I got you right where I want you, and I'm going to use you. He told Gideon, called him a mighty man of valor. In plain English, he was saying, well, I don't feel like a mighty man of valor. And where are all the miracles I heard about? You know, and those miracles are still there. Sometimes they come to us in different ways. If we could order our miracle, it'd never look the way that God brings it to us. But then we have to ask ourselves a question, who can we trust more, ourselves or God? God knows everything. He, he sees everything. And so tonight, as this year comes to a close, I want to encourage you, just trust in Him. Because this old things have passed away he said look there's something new I'm getting ready to do something brand new that's on the horizon I'm looking for it aren't you let's pray together tonight father I thank you 
<clears throat> and I pray for our friends, God. I just ask your blessing over their life. I pray, God, that you hold them, God, at the close of this old year. And God, breathe hope and expectancy into them, God, for this new year. I pray, Father, that they'll sense you in a very special way. Your tangible presence right there with them. Hold them close to you tonight. And Father, let them know that they're not ringing out this old year alone. That God, you're bringing them into something brand new. You've spoken it. You'll bring it to pass. You're able to bring waters in a desert place. And we thank you for that. And we praise you, God, for what's coming in Jesus' name. Amen. We love y'all. Hope to see you Sunday morning. Until then, just hang on. He'll bring you through the fire. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.